Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Prickly Hedgehog recording from a snowy Minnesota, cold Minnesota today. So welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about flight sim hardware and the Pimax Crystal Lite, which I've had for well, close to six months. This is the more accessible and affordable VR headset while still offering some of the best visuals available in a VR headset today. So we're going to talk a little bit about what I've learned about the headset and perhaps why now is a really good time to get one. Now, when it comes to simulation games, whether it's driving, racing or flight simulation, you've probably heard that VR provides the most mind-blowing visual experience available today, surpassing things like triple monitor setups, which became sort of the ultimate experience, especially in racing games. Now, amidst the growing market and variety of choices, Pimax is establishing itself as one of the leading brands for gaming VR headsets, especially for high fidelity experiences in games where realism is critical. This is particularly vital for racing games and also for flight simulation, where you're trying to look for high fields of views, high detail, and pretty good frame rates, which is always a challenge to get in VR. Over the last few months, the Pimax team have introduced some new systems that makes their products even more attractive. So let's take a look at some of the reasons why now might be the best time to buy a Pimax Crystal product. Well, let's start with some software choices and the team recently created native open XR runtime and native quad view software, as well as its own upscaling software, eliminating some of the hassle of using third party products to get the best out of your VR headset or even simply to get it to interface with your games to start with. Now, I recommend Steam VR as one of the ways to do that. It's certainly easier than messing around with some of the third party software options out there, some of which are actually potentially no longer going to be supported. Now, the upscaling for me was particularly interesting as I don't believe I've seen that approach used by other VR companies to extract better performance out of their VR headsets. It's something we're familiar with, certainly for flat screen technology. So, uh, companies looking to boost performance in video games for some years now, NVIDIA being kind of one of the stalwarts of this. So I expect further tweaks and improvements to this as time progresses, as the team are focused on software development for their headsets and interface software. Right now, we're not quite there, but I'd love to see a truly plug and play headset that's optimized for games like DCS World and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, which was recently released and others, of course, and we'll see how things go as time progresses. These features come as part of a raft of software improvements the Pimax team have delivered or are improving on, such as their own simultaneous localization and mapping technology to improve user experience. So this is a key feature of the crystal headsets in particular, as it allows you to operate it without needing to use lighthouses or external base stations. That's a huge bonus for VR flight simmers like myself, who often have a lot of periphery equipment and crowded desk spaces as it is in the quest to eliminate that dependency on mouse and keyboard. This is also going to be very, very helpful for those of you running Simpit type setups. Pimax rattled off several areas of focus for them in a recent detailed development progress video, which includes reducing GPU load times, inside out tracking, which again is a reference to the lack of a need for base stations or lighthouses, foveated rendering and other runtime performances, which we touched on before. The big news though, for those of you looking to get your hands on a crystal light, is that the team are now offering you a 24 month payment plan under the newly announced Crystal Prime membership system that they've introduced. Now you make an upfront payment of 599 US dollars for the Crystal Light. Remember that's one of their cheapest headsets offering the best bang for, for bucks uh, for visual experiences. And then you'll make monthly payments of 1199 under a 24 month contract, wherein after two years, you will own that piece of hardware. Alternatively, you can make a lump sum payment and get a 10% discount. So all sorts of cool mechanisms for getting hold of a VR headset, which may be out of reach as an upfront cost. The team went on to explain that they now have full control over their production processes in order to expedite shipping. The shipping is now going to occur via local warehouses to customers, and obviously the improved production pipelines are also going to help meet customer order demands, which were very high on the headsets earlier release this year. Now, the aim of this membership system and production improvement is to widen the opportunity for consumers to get access to the headset where price point is typically one of the biggest hurdles. And also those delivery delays from earlier this year may have soured the overall purchase experience. Further, 
The subscription model is tied to the headset itself, as you are free to sell it once you have paid it off and own it. And it looks like now Pimax is even offering some trade-in deals as well so that you can upgrade to a different headset if you so choose. And I'll put a link in the description to that video in the video description below so that you can gather more information. So things are evolving very, very quickly in the Pimax world. Now they advise that they will be offering other membership systems too, like I mentioned, to unlock features like this for member accessibility to their products. So stay tuned for more details. So should you buy one to embellish your flight simulation experiences, especially when our hard earned dollars are in hot competition for numerous other peripheral devices, not least of which are the much vaunted 5000 series GPUs from NVIDIA set for release as early as late January 2025 with whopping price tags of around $2,000 for a 5090, potentially even more depending on the variation. Stay tuned for that release. Hands down, I would say my experience with Pimax Crystal and the Crystal Lite have been some of the most magical ones for visual indulgence, certainly in games like DCS World and more recently in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Now, the latter of which I'm still having some issues with getting the delicious looking recordings I hope to showcase with the game in the near future. So you'll have to settle with some of the less salubrious looking images that I have right now. I'm getting close to troubleshooting some of these. Nevertheless, as I said before, there's nothing the 2D screen can provide you in terms of that feeling of being in the cockpit. And this is because of the high resolution, the pixel density, 2880 by 2880, both eyes or per eye and the massive field of view which is around 120 degrees and also that six degrees of freedom for or looking around there so as i said in the intro flat screens simply can't deliver the same wow factor when you put your headset on and look around the cockpit of your favorite aircraft for the first time it's simply amazing that's what Pimax delivers, visual wow factor. Now, even for long flight sessions, the unit is comfortable. I've worn it up to three hours without neck pain or discomfort, although it can get a little sweaty under there if the tension mounts on some of those intense long run missions. But that's to be expected. Now, the team's software interface has gotten a lot better, but I'd like to see some further tweaks in the GUI for the headset setting page because the font is a little small and the interface just looks like it's not all that snazzy for a modern app. It works in the context of making tweaks to the settings, but it still looks like a better version build at this juncture. So like I said before, though, stay tuned. Things are evolving quickly in the Pimax world. Now, I wouldn't say the headset, of course, as I mentioned before, is totally plug and play just yet and still needs, say, Steam VR or similar software to interact with some programs. And you will find, like a lot of peripheral equipment, you're going to have to spend some time getting your settings dialed in. Now, this isn't dissimilar to many other pieces of hardware for those of us in the sim world that need adjustment and tweaking once you plug them in, sometimes even between different vehicles or aircraft within the game, there's always something that needs to be adjusted. Obviously, this can be things like switches, setup or axis tuning. It's something you accept. And although I'm aware this can be tricky for some people in terms of the comments that I'm reading and actually downright frustrating if you're unable to run the headset as you had hoped. Once you're up and running though, the experience is amazing. Now, in terms of specs for my computer to get the best out of it, I'm running a pretty high-end system, which is a 4090 RTX Gigabyte GPU made it to an i9-14900 CPU from Intel and 64 gigs of RAM, and I'm largely trouble-free. I am aware of issues people are reporting with regards to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and this issue with low frame rates. I'm not experiencing those same issues. Although, like I said, I'm still experimenting with my Pimax crystal light settings and overall in-game settings. So thus far, I've been able to run the game on ultra settings and it is fairly impressive. All right, so in summary, yeah, I totally recommend buying one of these if you are looking for that extra experience of better immersion, better visual experiences. There's nothing quite like VR for flight simulation. It's absolutely amazing and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and DCS World are my go-to games right now for those kinds of experiences. 
Now, there's another factor that's coming up here. Obviously, we have Black Friday sales coming up, and I will recommend if you check out my discount code in the description setting below, they will earn you a little bit of a discount as well from Pimax, and there are other promotions out there as well. So feel free to choose as you wish to get the best deal. One factor, though, I think is uh, perhaps not calculated here, and that is a change of government coming up here in the US and whether or not there is going to be tariffs on imports coming up here for some of the products that we're talking about. Obviously, anything that's in the country right now is already being paid for. So this would be a good time to pick something up if you're worried about that in the future. We have no guarantee that the tariffs are going to be implemented, but we also have no guarantee that they aren't. And if the administration coming in is true to its word, which it sounds like they are really pushing this, then we could see tariffs across the board, uh, particularly for Equipment like this, a lot of which is assembled overseas and then transported into the country, that will certainly earn its uh, its tariff, which is effectively a tax on consumers. Uh, without going into complex detail, it's relatively simple. A tariff is imposed to bring that good in, and so the retailer bringing it in bears the upfront cost for transporting those goods in. Uh, to continue making profit, obviously, the price that has increased, say the wholesale price effectively has been increased, then that cost is going to be transferred to the consumer. And that's you and I. So it's hard to know just how much of a tax there's going to be or a tariff there's going to be on any of these goods. So if you are worried about that, and I'm particularly worried about GPUs right now, whether or not that's going to cause a massive increase in price, it's hard to know. But if you are worried about that, then perhaps now is an even better time to pick up something that you are definitely going to enjoy. So that's my take. I've loved the experience of the Crystal Light. Uh, it's relatively easy to use, relatively easy to get up and running as long as you follow the instructions carefully, do your homework, do your research, but hands down, the most amazing experience VR is in, as I said, both DCS World and of course, right now, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It's been fun. So thanks to Pimax for providing me with the crystal light. I'm going to bring you more videos on hardware as time allows, and we'll make that do. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time. This is Prickly Hedgehog out.